Let us speak about the etiquette of kalam. And you know what? I want to I wanna make a clarification about something I said yesterday. I was telling you about the debates I've been watching between uh, Muslims and atheists. And I want to be very specific now. Very specific because of the feedback I got. I do this because it's my but I'm in, but Allah blessed me to be involved in da'wah. So I involve myself and listen to things because they aid my cause. When I go to Malaysia and I give da'wah to all these uh, uh, students in Nottingham University, all of, from different backgrounds, I need to be well equipped with, with information, contemporary information in order to defend the religion. And it's our job to defend the religion. That said, you should not, in, under any circumstance, Anyone listening to me, you may not go and watch debates with atheists or Christians. I am telling you this sincerely. Because out of 10 people, at least 2 to 3 will have doubts in their hearts afterwards. And you cannot promise that you will be one of those 7 who will be saved. Allah says, لا تزكوا أنفسكم هو أعلم بمن اتقى ولا تزكوا أنفسكم Do not, do not claim purity for yourself. Allah knows best who is the taqi. You cannot say, no, 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 I am exempt. You don't know whether it will be your turn. Therefore, don't go there. Wallahi, if I didn't have to know this information for da'wah, why would I even bother? The atheists are the most ludicrous people on earth who don't even deserve an, an inch, a minute of attention. If it were up to me, we would never have a debate with a single atheist because he's not worthy to even express his opinion to the people. It is nothing but utter confusion and lies and fabrications and, and nonsense. But today the people want to, you know, use their, their uh, philosophical arguments to bring them to Islam. And the bottom line is all it does is confuse the Muslims more than it brings atheists to Islam. So please, please be very careful. And I'm saying this because of the word kalam, which is the, the, the science of philosophy. And, and uh, philosophical arguments are extremely dangerous to your faith if you're not well grounded in knowledge. Therefore, do not watch those types of debates because your iman is more important. Your iman is more important and the shaitan is keen on, on diverting you from the path. Wallahi, I'm not saying this because Islam has issues. Uqsum billah, Islam mops the floor with all of them. Islam is a bulldozer. Islam is a bulldozer and nothing can stand against it. It demolishes them all. But not every representative of Islam is capable of doing that. And so you don't know who you're going to wind up watching. And that representative of Islam may say a lot of good things and then he might confuse you with some issues that he has himself, which I've seen plenty of. I don't want to mention any names. The bottom line is it's a slippery slope. Protect yourself. I have, I have conveyed, oh Allah, you are my witness. I have conveyed to those who, are, uh, those who will see this one day, do not listen to those. And that's not what's the Akari's opinion. That's the, that's the fatwa of the scholars. They are very specific about who are exempt from this. And so if you're not... Leave that business alone. Bye. Thanks for watching this video. Subscribe and click on the notification bell. Like, comment, and share with friends and family.